Welcome! This is an informational video on HIV and aging. What we refer to as HIV and your future. So what is HIV? HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is an agent that may enter the human body by sharing needles, transmission from an HIV-positive mother to her child, or sexual transmission. HIV may occur in individuals of any ethnicity and any gender. The immune system is responsible for protecting the body from infections. The immune system has a certain type of cell called helper T cells. They are responsible for identifying infectious agents, such as viruses, and they help other immune cells in fighting diseases. Upon infection with HIV, the number of helper T cells decreases, leading to a weakened immune system. As a result, individuals with HIV are more prone to developing other infections. In the past few decades, significant medical and scientific advancements have improved the anti-HIV drugs. The development of these drugs has allowed HIV to become a manageable condition and has extended the life expectancy of individuals living with HIV. As a result, most individuals with HIV are able to work, volunteer, and have family and children. Today in Canada, it is estimated that the percentage of seniors living with HIV will double within the next 25 years. Aging is a natural process of the body in which the organs gradually decrease in their functions and their ability to repair themselves. As we age, our body's immune system ages as well, leading to decline in the body's ability to respond to infections. This is known as immunosenescence. Research suggests that the link between accelerated aging and HIV lies in immunosenescence. In HIV-positive individuals, some cells of the immune system mature faster than other individuals of the same age. This leads to a consistent higher level of activation of the immune system, known as inflammation. Elevated levels of inflammation in the body is also seen in the elderly. This is why we expect an early onset of age-related illnesses in individuals living with HIV. This is known as accelerated aging. Accelerated aging affects a number of organs, including bones, heart, and liver. It can even cause general frailty and weaknesses. Premature illnesses that have been observed in HIV-positive individuals include bone frailty, cardiovascular disease, decline in liver function, and decline in brain function. These may occur in HIV-positive individuals almost a decade earlier than the general population. The extent to which HIV itself, its treatment, and lifestyle contribute to accelerated aging has not been determined. Since it remains a challenge to determine the exact contribution of each factor, there are no medical interventions that can directly counteract this accelerated aging. Therefore, close monitoring and regular physician visits are an important aspect of healthcare for these individuals. This can be helpful in managing complications and other illnesses along with HIV. This includes routine checkups to measure blood pressure, cholesterol level, blood sugar level, and immune cell count. Lifestyle changes can help maintain or improve individuals' health to a great extent. Smoking and drinking are known to be big risk factors in the accelerated aging process. Therefore, change in smoking and drinking habits as well as regular exercising and consuming a healthy diet are significant steps that help maintain overall health. There are numerous support groups existing in Canada that provide information and support services with the goal to help people to continue living independently and with dignity. For example, Canadian Aid Society includes over 120 community organizations to enrich the lives of people and communities living with HIV. As well, HIV AIDS Tribe is an online support community that provides a convenient and safe place to connect designed to bring people with similar challenges together. Remember, HIV is a manageable condition. People living with HIV are encouraged to ask questions and seek help when needed. As they move into their future, many resources are available to support, share, and connect with others who may face similar challenges. For more information, please visit www.cdnaids.ca.